Welcome back to my channel YouTube and hello to any new viewers. I'm so happy to have you here today. My name is Anna and I post new videos every single week about home, fashion, lifestyle, career content. So I would love for you to click that subscribe button down below. Today's video I'm going to be sharing with you my handbag collection and I wanted to do a variation of all my luxury bags and my more affordable brand name bags as well. I'll just really share with you my collection, which bags I think are my favorite at the moment. I know a lot of my subscribers and my audience on here really loved my Louis Vuitton, my YSL unboxing and review. So I just kind of wanted to give a full overview of my collection. Um, it's not going to be a ton just because my collection is still growing and I found that as I grow older, I would rather spend more money on bigger pieces that I think are going to last me a longer time rather than spending on more affordable items that just don't last as long. So with that being said, this isn't going to be a huge collection, but I just wanted to share with you my luxury bags as well as my more affordable bags that I also think are worth it as well. Okay, so starting off with number one, I'm just going to start with my Louis Vuitton bag as well as my most recent. So if you've been subscribed to me for a little while, then you know that I recently purchased the Louis Vuitton Petite No Way bag. Uh, she is right here and I haven't really done an updated review on it just because I feel like I haven't had it for that long yet, but I purposely got this bag for an everyday kind of use. I know a lot of women prefer like the Neverfull bag, but I really wanted something a little bit different and I really liked how the bucket bags were kind of in style. Um, I was back and forth between this one and the newer Petite Noe that they just released without the drawstring, but I really wanted a bag that had the lighter leather on it with them as well as the monogram print. Now I do have a bag organizer in here that is actually holding its shape. If I don't have the bag organizer in here, then it kind it just like clumps together and falls in in the middle so I think the bag organizer is a must and it also actually really helps keep my things in place. I will admit that this is not my favorite bag from Louis Vuitton. It was definitely something that was on my wish list for a long time and I was really happy when I got it. I'm still very happy with my purchase but it's just not, it doesn't meet up to my favorite bag which I'll get into in just a little bit. This I feel like has already kind of been through the ringer. I did purchase get this bag because I didn't want it to be something that I would have to be like so careful with. I really wanted it to be the everyday bag that you just throw on your shoulder and you can throw some items in there and you don't have to worry about it getting too full. So with that being said, I think it's a great everyday bag. It fits a lot. Uh, it comes in different variations and sizes and it is one of the more affordable Louis Vuitton bags but I would say it's definitely just kind of like my everyday thing. This strap is so sturdy. If you're really into Louis Vuitton then you would know that this bag was actually meant to carry bottles of champagne and wine so I think that has a lot to do with why this strap is so thick. But one thing I do love about Louis Vuitton as well is just like their leather and the quality of their bags is so nice. You can just tell the quality of the leather. This beige leather here is supposed to age over time and yeah. This is kind of like my everyday bag right now. I switch in between this and a fanny pack if I'm just running errands. So yeah, I would recommend this bag, but admittedly, I'm just being honest, it's not my favorite. Okay, I only have two Louis Vuitton bags, but I'm just going to go to my next one. And this is going to be my favorite bag in my entire collection. It is my Louis Vuitton Clapton backpack. It feels so weird bringing it out because I haven't had it out in a while. Um, I definitely get complimented on this bag the most. One thing that I wouldn't say is frustrating, but cameras and pictures just don't do this bag justice. Um, it looks so classy. I remember when I first purchased it and when I opened it up, I just remember thinking, oh my goodness, this bag looks 10 times prettier in person than I ever thought it would in the photos. And while this backpack might look really small, it actually holds a lot. And I just think it's so versatile. It goes with so many outfits and you can honestly wear this bag in so many different ways. Sometimes I'll take both straps and just kind of like sling it on the side. Um, you can use both straps and put it on as a backpack or you can carry it as a top handle bag. You can take one of the straps off and then just wear it as a crossbody. So 10 out of 10, this is my absolute favorite bag that I have so far. It is an expensive backpack purse, but I have zero buyer's remorse. If I had to buy this bag again, I would. I've 
used it to go out to dinners i've used it to travel like on the airplane i mean i won't get into like full reviews of my bags just because this would be a very long video if i did you can see here how spacious it is and just the attention to detail is so pretty it has the louis vuitton logo in right there and it just buckles in like that um, it's kind of falling in right here, which I think it doesn't do when I actually have things in the bag So right now you can kind of see the leathers going in a little bit just because it's empty But when it's filled, um, it definitely holds its shape very well. Yeah, this is my favorite bag uh, But I haven't been going anywhere special So it's just been kind of in her dust bag in her box in my closet But once COVID has kind of settled down and things go back to normal I cannot wait to start wearing this bag out more often. Okay Okay, up next I have my YSL Uptown wallet on a chain. This one is such a requested video when it comes to reviews. This one I've actually done two videos on and I would have to say this is my favorite bag to wear when I'm going out for a dinner date or just out to a nice dinner. When the bars and clubs were open, this was my favorite bag to bring with me going out as well. I would have to say this is probably my second favorite luxury bag that I have. I just like how classy, how simple it is. I did admit in my last review of it, my updated review, that I wish I could have gotten it in a lighter color and I think that still holds true I mean I love that this goes with almost every outfit that I have you can't go wrong with black but because I already have a lot of black smaller bags I just kind of wish I went with the cream color on this one this is a very great affordable starter luxury bag and it actually comes with a card slot that I have been using every day and one of the reasons I love this bag so much is because of the versatility and the different ways you can wear the bag you can actually take this chain off and just wear it as a clutch and then you can change the lengths on the chain just by how you wear it um, right now I have it on kind of like this medium length but really if you've seen my bag review on this then you know that there are so many different variations that you can style this bag um, like for example if you wanted to make this really short and mini you could and this is one of my other favorite ways to wear this bag so admittedly this is not an everyday bag for me but i probably whip this thing out like once a week once every two weeks to wear out to a nice dinner or out on the town and yeah it just holds itself really well definitely my second favorite bag in my collection next to the Clapton backpack. Oh my goodness, I feel like I had to dig this bad boy up from like the depths of my closet. Okay, up next I have my Gucci Super Mini or Gucci Marmont Super Mini bag in the color black. This bag holds a special place in my heart because it was one of my first ever luxury bags and I got it pre-loved and I feel like I put this bag through the ringer. This bag has been through so much turmoil and torture. I took it everywhere and just wore the crap out of this thing. If you look back at all my old Instagram photos of like when I first went to Paris, this thing was just everywhere. And I do love this bag. You can wear it so many different ways. You can wear it. I initially got it because I loved that you can wear it as a fanny pack. You can use the chains um, short and just wear it over your shoulder like this which I think looks so freaking cute um, or you can wear it as a crossbody and elongate the chains but admittedly you just cannot fit a lot in this and I stopped wearing this bag when I got my iPhone 12 plus and it fit my phone in here with all my other belongings like my keys and lip gloss and comb so I kind of stopped wearing it but I would love to break this bad boy out again and start wearing it more often super cute I just think it looks really classy and like my YSL bag it goes with a lot but my YSL uptown wallet on a chain bag definitely fits more than this one does I mean I still love her I would still wear her to this day it's just been a hot minute since i have okay so that's it for my luxury collection i have the louis vuitton petite no way the clapton backpack the ysl uptown wallet on a chain and then the gucci uh, marmont super mini i admittedly don't have a lot of other handbags i used to wear a lot of like dooney and burke michael kors and coach but the dooney and burke bag that i had 
I wore that out so bad that it just kind of like fell apart and got really nasty. Um, if there is an affordable brand that I would still buy from to this day, it would be Coach. Coach has to be one of my favorite, more affordable brands that I think you can purchase from. I just really like the quality of their leather. Their bags aren't really heavy like you would find in some of like the other brands I would personally say, like Kate Spade and Michael Kors. I feel like their bags can be really heavy, which I'm not a fan of. So the one Coach bag that I I have that I still wear to this day is just I don't know what you would call this um, I don't know the name of this bag, so I'm so sorry. I got it a while ago, um, but I find this bag really cute and casual. If I don't really want to break out like one of my luxury bags and I just want to keep it casual, but still a little bit dressed up, I will wear this bag a lot. And this is surprisingly really roomy. Um, <laughs> I still have contents in here that I haven't cleaned out, but... I would keep this bag. I don't have any plans of like selling it, donating it, or giving it away because it is still one of my favorite bags from Coach. And I do still check out their website and they have so many cute styles, like a lot of cute top handles and I just feel like they've really stepped up their game. I admittedly am not a fan of their bags that just have like the Coach logo all over it, um, but something like this where it's just kind of clean, one color, um, has the brand on there. I think that's just really cute and simple. And if you don't want to spend like a thousand dollars for an expensive bag, Coach has really affordable bags ranging anywhere from like a hundred to four hundred dollars. So I feel like this is one of the few brands where I feel like you don't have to worry about compromising quality for the price. Okay, last but not least, I have this bag from Tory Burch. I feel so bad. I have only worn this bag maybe two or three times. It is my least favorite bag and I just think it's because this chain is so uncomfortable for me. I mean the bag itself looks really cute. I mean I love the style of it but just with the gold and the leather on this chain it's just not really a comfortable bag to wear. I would love to sell this on like Poshmark and then every time I whip it out I'm like wait, she's kind of cute, like I think this bag would look so pretty. But at the end of the day, I've only worn it two or three times, so I'll probably sell it on my Poshmark. But it's just kind of like this envelope style looking bag. I did pay about two or three, I think it was like $200. It was a beautiful bag, definitely. I love the length of it. I love the style of it. And, and then I put it on and I'm like, she's so cute. But a part of me just always goes to like my Louis Vuitton's or my YSL. Like I just never ever really whip this one out. So I can't really give a great review on this or on Tory Burch. This is the only Tory Burch bag I've ever owned. But I know a lot of girls who love Tory Burch and they shop there all the time. So um, I wish I could give a more thorough review on this bag, but I just personally don't like it because of how heavy and uncomfortable the chains feel with the leather and the gold at the same time. Okay, this technically isn't a bag, but I wanted to bring it into this video anyway because I have been wearing this every single day, and it is my Lululemon fanny pack, and super affordable. This thing was like $30, $40 on the Lululemon website, and you can really adjust the strap any way you want, and I I wear this thing all the time. I don't wear it around my waist like this. I love to wear it just kind of like over the shoulder like this, kind of like slinged across. And if I just really want to be hands-free, if I'm like going for a walk with my dog or if I'm going to the grocery store, this will be my favorite thing to put on. It fits a lot for a fanny pack and I just think it's really stylish and cute. I still think fanny packs are in. If you're looking for one that's really high quality and really affordable, I would definitely go with the Lululemon one. I love how I keep saying, this is gonna be my last one, this is gonna be my last one. And then I go to my closet and I'm like, oh wait, but she needs to be in the video. I feel like, who are you if you don't have a big brown bag? This bag is, it's fallen apart. Like, I'm not going to lie. This probably won't last me much longer. I've had this bag since my freshman year of college. So I've had it for, oh my gosh, when did I go to college? I've had it for like four or five years now and this is my designated beach bag. This used to be my designated college bag where I would like throw in my laptop and everything. Um, $20 from Old Navy. Healing. So this definitely isn't like a high quality bag but it's lasted me quite a while. It's lasted me like four or five years and I just personally love having a big 
bag to just throw in like my beach towels, my wetsuit, my sunscreen, my sunglasses, and this bag does the job. If I had to buy a similar bag today that looked exactly like this but with better quality, I would 10 out of 10 recommend checking out the Madewell website. I've looked at their handbags before um, or Dagny Dover, so I would recommend those if I had to purchase a bag similar to this. Just something that's like really big, a little more high quality. As you can tell, this one is falling apart. Like it just is not, it's been through a lot. It's just what I wear. Every time I go to the beach and I just need to like throw my flip-flops and towels in and there's a lot of sand in this bag. All right, now that concludes my video for today. Please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, I will see you all again in another video soon. Bye.